lovely interview. And we're now back in the studio. We're going to be checking out Fallen Tear, The Ascension. I'm joined in the studio by Stephen and Alexis. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure. Of course. Um, so could you tell us a little bit more about the game for the people at home? So um, Fallen Tear is a fusion of two genres, uh, mainly Metroidvania and JRPG. Um, it's about a game of a, a corrupted god who wants to be a mortal. So our here, our protagonists here want to do uh, make the balance and save the world. So yeah. And it's I love RPG, uh, JRPGs in particular. Metroidvanias are a scary genre for me because I'm bad at them. <laughs> but this looks really cool, very slick. Love the character design. Thank you so much. I'm very excited to check it out. Yeah, yeah. same. I'm also very excited to check it out. And um, hopefully, I will not like make um, <laughs> make a bad impression on yeah. all the viewers because I don't play any Metroidvanias in my free time. Oh. Maybe I should, but I didn't. I never played anything that could be an inspiration to this game. All right. I think. Make us proud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll do my best and maybe at the end of the stream or at the end of the session, you'll um, call me the best Metroidvania player yeah. there is. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Thank you very much. So I already got the double jump, right? Yeah, you have. Um, on this game, um, this is not part of the main game. It's more like a showing of the feature of the game. Mm -hmm. So uh, we made this especially for the event. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I feel so lucky. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, this is the first time you guys are going to see it. So. Oh, I need to. Oh, did I do something yeah, wrong? You, I killed the enemy. No, no, you, oh, okay. you, you can push the. Yeah. Let's jump here. Mm hmm. I love the art style, by the way. Thank you so much. We often say that during this stream, right? It's because we've been spoiled. Like the level of like artistry this year has just been like unmatched. Not saying that the other years haven't been good, but like this year, the whole time I'm just looking at the art, going, "Wow, <laughs> this is really good. This is really beautiful." Like it's, you guys should be really proud, honestly. Wow, thank you so much. And the UI, mm, the oh. UI, <laughs> it's the best UI I've seen today. Oh, thank you so much. Actually, there's a lot of people saying it looks like um, Wakfu and Dofus. Do you know the game? I don't know if I do, actually. But, yeah. but that's okay. And how do you feel about those comparisons? When people say that it reminds them of this or it looks like this, like, how do you feel about that? Well, um, it's a good compliment, yeah. especially the, the art uh, itself. Mm -hmm. Our artists who made the character design love Dofus and Wakfu. So mm -hmm. it shows in the game. So it's amazing yeah. people notice it. So. Yeah. That's really cool. It it hurts me to like attack these cute <laughs> creatures though. <laughs> they are really okay, cute. Uh, it's something to do with JRPG. Remember if you in the early stage of JRPG oh, you only made a cute Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Why do JRPGs always hate the cute animals? <laughs> There's something evil about it. So. Yeah, you're all evil over there. That's like I well I will only kill these animals, these cute little <laughs> bees, because you tell me to. Yeah, because you have to, not yeah. because you <laughs> Not because I enjoy it very much. No, uh, remember, they are corrupted now. So. Oh, they are. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you saved it. Okay, so I killed... So do you remember the hill? I remember everything the okay, game told perfect. me. See, yeah. I press down yeah. to heal myself mm -hmm. to full like a pro gamer. Already okay. a pro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there's still a cute bee left. That stinged me. So, by the way, I have to uh, explain it to you. The red orb that makes the healing more uh, powerful. Oh, good. You can still yeah. heal without the red orb, but it's it better. gives you less. Yeah. yeah. Those are the corrupted soul. You're absorbing it. Oh. Mm. Okay. So it seems <laughs> like you're cleansing the world. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know whether the controller is. Oh, okay. Now I can move again. I need to wait for a moment. And now we move down here. Two-way freaking <laughs> boss fight. <laughs> um, yeah, what's about what? What's up with him? Yeah, uh, this boss. Uh, we're just going to teach you how the combat uh, with this game. So, yeah, like this one. If the enemy show this uh, sparkling eye, avoid oh. it at all costs. Yeah. I'm trying to. <laughs> oh, I, I'm I, so bad at this. Oh, God. Okay. I'm still alive. Watch me beat him. Oh, there you go. 
he won't kill me. See? Oh! Uh, oh. You can try again. I it's will. Unlimited. Yeah. They're still cute, but they still pack a punch. Yeah, <laughs> just like me in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Just a tip: if the eye blink, don't move. But you have to be in center. So. Oh God, I make a fool of myself. Um, what are the two bars? The one bar down uh, there is health, but the other one? It's the mana. That's the one you use for healing. Oh, I mean the boss. At the boss, that the yellow bar is the endure bar. Mm -hmm. It makes uh, it's like a poise. Oh, almost like a stun. Oh, just like yeah. this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like a, right. The same with Dark Souls. It's not the poise. Once you break it, they, you can stun the enemy and do more damage yeah. to the enemy. So um, we make our combat a little bit more complex compared to the other Metroidvania. Yeah. So um, if you notice, if you hit the enemy at the back, you you get some critical hit. So the game revolves on that design. Yeah. Um, hey. You need to find how to hit the character at the back so it's you can easily beat the enemy. And of course, that's not always going to be easy. So yeah, like that's finding right. Yeah. Ways to do that. No, it's right. certainly not easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm trying not to get hit at all. Yeah, you will learn. You will learn. Yeah. You I so will. close that time. Yeah. Yeah, no one. Uh, in our experience on, on the boot, uh, no one beat this on their first try, so yeah. it's pretty normal. No one beat this, you mean? I will uh, be no, the first player. Um, they beat it, but they tried uh, m multiple times. So. Okay. He really wants to be special, and you are special. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. So that's the stand. So whenever the enemy got stunned, uh, you can actually do more damage. Mm -hmm. I see. So, there but you go. The, yep. the fight. Oh, did I just d do something great? Parry him or something? No. No. Um, I was just hit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I struck him from okay. behind. Take that, you cute little. Nice. You see? see? Second time. Picked it Pro up. Metro yeah. I'm, I'm so <laughs> proud of you. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> and it's lying. He's lying. Yeah. On his first yeah. try. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Now I'm at a cute campfire. Yeah, this is the rest. similar with the bonfire with Dark Souls. You can heal and camp, but it's, it also reset the enemy when you heal. So. I see. Okay. Let's talk about the JRPG part of this game because you said it's not like a typical Metroidvania, right. right? It will. Um, you try to you innovate Metroidvanias. Exactly. How do you do that? So um, the innovation about this. Uh, so most. Uh, Metroidvania, they have this gate gating skill like that. Mm -hmm. But here, um, you found, you find, um, we call it 22 Fated Bunch. They are the characters that is recruitable in the game. Yes, yes. So yes, yes. Uh, that's the part where you recruit them. They have their own story in the game. So you, after you help them, you can recruit them. And we have 22 characters that that is recruitable, and they all they they have their own story in the game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So you basically want to find them all and yes. like find out all of their different stories. And I really right. like that because I think sometimes in uh, Metroidvanias, the story isn't always like super obvious. Yeah. And I love story. I need, I need something to keep me going. Yeah. Um, and like having like a whole bunch of characters to, to recruit, I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And these characters also give you the abilities to exactly. move forward in the game, right? That's because right. In, I don't want to like hate on other Metroidvanias, but <laughs> and I'd never even played one. But in most of them, you just get an upgrade that That's says, right. "No, you now have a gun, or you now have like bigger legs, or something." And in this game, you find the cute characters that are, of course, interesting, and they give you these abilities, That's right? That's right. Um, they give you uh, talent, uh, talent skill, which you can summon them to fight with you. Mm -hmm. And they also have this passive skill. For example, uh, we have three characters that you will find on this demo. Oh, I will. Oh, let's go. Yeah, you will find them. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And the characters are all fully voice acted. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah? That's right. They are. Yeah. They are. Uh, on this demo, we uh, didn't uh, show the voice yet because uh, we arrested them. Yeah, of course. But yeah. yeah in but in game. the full game, yeah, it yeah. will be a fully voiced. Because it's very heavy with the narrative part. So yeah. Well, uh, we it's not super heavy because we know the Metroidvania players uh, like uh, uh, to play uh, to do more combat mm -hmm. than the. The story part, but we made sure that it will be really interesting for them to enjoy not just the gameplay but also the story. Yeah. 
yeah and i think that is genuinely like what sets it apart and makes it unique so yeah i hope i hope they enjoy the story yeah I really and i hope the community will uh, adapt to this kind of uh, new gameplay yeah do you have like a favorite of these characters i do can you spoil nah, don't spoil but can you describe the character you're a fan of um i have right now i have three favorite characters the one is the the biggest guy in the game mm -hmm. and the other one is the the boy that has two uh, characteristics mm -hmm. yeah um because um yeah he got corrupted and something so yeah this evil person i see it. okay and the third one is um we call it the puppet master Ooh. um she's like uh she voices her own puppet so, so she makes different voices oh cool so, yeah and as long you meet more uh, fated bands they also interact with if if you bring someone who's connected to that character they make a different uh script oh, yeah oh, that's that's really interesting gosh that's like so much scope yeah and you can like build relationships with them right exactly yeah. Yeah. also romantic can, ones um uh maybe in dlc <laughs> okay i will wait for that dlc you didn't say no which is the most important yeah. thing so that's good that's do you have great. a favorite character uh i actually have one mm -hmm. uh mostly because uh, they heal you okay and nice. also they uh they're a dancer oh, cool. um, pretty much my, like myself yes Sick. Uh, oh you're a dancer <laughs> person of many talents i love yeah. it <laughs> you i again the ui of like getting the new ability was clean thank you so much that was pretty great um but what did i get during that ui because so i concentrated so much on <laughs> the beautiful ui <laughs> oh. okay that's spear warp yeah this is a unique feature in the game actually um this is the final skill that you will get okay okay but for this we just wanted to show you the the really cool moves so um what what does it do is um you bring to them and do the uh, critical damage at the back. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but you can change that skill as long as you have a mana. So you can mm. still continue doing that. I think when pros like me play Metroidvania, <laughs> it's all always so satisfying to watch them. Like, see, <laughs> okay. and now do that okay. one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pro moves. Exactly. <laughs> Daniel, I'm going to give you a genuine compliment here. Considering like you're playing this for the first time on stream, you're not doing too bad. Like you're, you're doing pretty well. That's yeah. That's very nice of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the that's the last compliment yeah. for the stream, though. He's no. lying. It, the last you'll ever yeah, give me. He's playing Metroidvania. He's lying. I think. I think. <laughs> I think you're right. Big fat liar over here. Let's not forget. He's already pro. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I, I love that my like um, that this is what you call me now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make many clips of this VOD. To just send to all my friends. <laughs> okay, but the pro right now does not know where to go. Yeah, just def you need to defeat one more. Enemy. Oh, there's the enemy. Okay. I'm. Um, I really want to like meet the characters. Okay. You will meet. We will meet them soon. So. Okay. Uh, actually, now. Great. Ooh. So um, you will meet Bjorn, one of our. Uh, he's a chef. Ah, nice. Yeah. So um, his skill is um, his passive skill is make your life more longer, and uh, the talent skill is he he throw this fire fan. <laughs> uh -huh. It's for aerial, so he hit the flying enemies there. I see. I'm I'm very much looking forward to that. How does his voice sound? Uh like yeah, oh, yeah. I think like a British sound. Oh. Okay. Can you voice him? Um, <laughs> I, I don't think my voice goes that deep, or what I, I feel like should be that deep for a character of his size. Otherwise, it'll be really squeaky. And I don't <laughs> think that's the vibe. <laughs> okay. But he joined my party. Yeah. He did join your party. Let's have a party with him. Beyond the chef. Yeah. He also his attack has an elemental damage. So mm -hmm. yeah, uh, once it it hits an enemy, it is, it does a. Uh, damage over time so and he increases my maximum hp yeah. that's right you will meet strong from bonds with throughout your journey these bonds can assist you in variety of ways like in combat utility or during expiration lb and loads of buttons to use bond skills <laughs> in combat you may also equip and upgrade your bonds in the main menu okay lb 
and the boutons. Oh! That's it! That, like I said, I'm in the show. It's easy to learn, right? Yeah! I, I forget you're a pro. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh. Where was... Oh, yeah, that was, that was it. Oh, that's kind of nifty. I didn't notice that until just now, but it shows you, like, how many enemies are remaining, like, on the, on the level. Yeah. It's quite yeah. cool. Let's move to him. And let's now throw this oh, yeah. pan. And there are enemies that can only be beaten by fire, I imagine. Yeah, there are some enemies who are... Um, the weakness is from fire. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it helps if the enemies uh, got the weakness. I see. Haha! <laughs> I'm really getting into the Metroidvania genre All right. through your game. Like you're really enjoying yourself now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will, like, I think I'll just sleep in the fair halls today. <laughs> I just keep playing. Keep playing this game in the studio. <laughs> oh, who's he? He looks... Uh, what? That's a mini boss, so... Ooh! That's a little bit strong. A mini boss. Oh no! Okay, I thought you were got stuck. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you Almost made me, you made me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! You found the bug. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. I just wanted. Just wanted to call some drama. <laughs> yeah. People love drama. <laughs> Chet, what do you think of the game right now? Because. Um, I think there are many Metroidvania fans in the chat. Oh, we have a live chat right now going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying our yeah. pro live stream. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. <laughs> yeah, it, is, it really is. Oh, there's the crystal goat, my arch enemy. <laughs> Oh, I love the the character design, but also like the enemy design as well. Like all of them are so distinct and like very very unique. It's really great. Thank you so much. So this um, this enemy have a, has an armor. Mm -hmm. So with that armor, you can do physical damage and magic skills. So you have to um, wait for him to uh, get down, and so you can hit him. So oh, thank you yeah, very much. One. Yeah, because I didn't read what it said about armor, because I'm like. An impulsive and dumb player. But eventually in the game you will have this heavy strike that can break armor, so Oh Oh, oh no, no. It is super fun to watch, but I've never played a game like this. Don't know if I've got the moves. <laughs> yeah, I relate to that. Because that it, it is a challenging genre. Metroidvania is right. pretty yeah. hard. Um, but th there is something very satisfying about watching someone who's very good, or at least like competent, just like use all of the abilities, like super slick with, um, with the movements. I'm not. That's why I'm not playing. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I, I, at least you're enjoying it. So. I am, very much so, very much so. Oh. Uh, you can actually break those crystals. Yeah, oh, right. nice. Oh, cool. What's like both of your favorite features of the game? Is yours the companions and the characters? Or what would you say is like... Uh, definitely the companion, but also our hero here also transform into a demon form. Oh, a demon form? Was that a spoiler? Uh, not exactly a spoiler, but... Um, something me. to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. something to look yeah. forward to, yeah. By the way, you can still be even without the red orb. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, but this crystal goat is jumping in my direction <laughs> um, all of this time. And it's very hard to focus on everything else. Okay. Ha! -ha! Oh. Oh, am I like in untargetable while I channel this? Uh, for now, yes, but uh, in the main game, it, it won't be like that. Oh, I'm abusing cheats <laughs> and glitches. Cheese, yeah. I'm so sorry. Ooh, I need to Whoa. survive. I did survive. No! Oh! No! Oh, just one more here. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> that doesn't help. Okay. Uh, this time around, yeah. You this time this around. One. You got it. Shay, um, you need to ask them um, very important and good questions because I need to focus right now. Oh no, you you put all of your energy into this. We're, we're entertained, you're doing a great job. Okay. If I had like a little towel, I would like pat your brow. Um, so what have been like some of the player feedback that you've gotten from having your game on in the arena booth? This wow, week? it's really amazing because um, here we showed the step back. It's kind of really new, uh, not exactly new, but 
um, few Metroidvania does use step back, mm -hmm. and we have this um, step back counter. Mm -hmm. um, they're all um, they got really confused using that because we're used to be uh, we used to know the normal dash that goes forward. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we learned a lot that uh, it's not really a good feeling feel oh. for them. So right. we need to do some adjustment on that part. Okay. Interesting. Yep. And yeah, like were there like was there feedback you you were expecting to get? Like that it sounds like that was a surprise for you. Yeah, that, that, that was a surprise. Yeah. yeah. Um, but was there other feedback that you thought, oh, this is what they won or this is what they won't like? It's crazy because they they just having fun. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I mean that's good. That's like the best compliment, right? Yeah, yeah, and we're we're really happy to hear that people are enjoying the game. Mm -hmm. And so far, that's the only thing, uh, the the part that I remember because it's yeah the step. All right, mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, do you, do you remember other? Ah um, uh, yeah, uh, a bunch of players. Uh, I mean, every player that uh, went up, uh, that passed by our booth also just lo loved the art style of the game. Yeah. So yeah, this is very striking. Is yeah. speaking of, what are these cute creatures in the back there? Uh -huh, I need to spoil you. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Don't spoil me. Uh, okay. Uh. But like, they're watching me pretty creepily from the shadows. <laughs> yeah, but I can tell a little bit uh, story or lore about that. Um, mm -hmm. Those creatures are an, an ancient. We call the the old uh, living ancients in, on this game. Uh huh. So they're like a guardians of of this forest, and they're um, trying to uh, look for people that come to this mysterious forest, and so they can tell the master that was coming to their uh, dance. So oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I see. They look cute, but mm -hmm. actually no. <laughs> Very spicy. What 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 does he do? Ephemer. Ephemer. Um, he's the lead leader of the Core Hunter Association. Mm -hmm. So on on this game, um, every here is one of the hunters. So he's a novice hunter. Mm -hmm. So um, the story revolves the people hire hunters to get the corruption orb because this corruption orb is used for the it's like an oil and gas for them okay mm -hmm. we use it to, uh, to make uh yeah to make everything working so they hire hunters to collect the corruption orb and they mm -hmm. bring it back to the people so i see okay so, and he's the leader he's the the crazy leader <laughs> okay let's see what he can do i've got yeah Ooh. Now they're stunned for us. He's very OP. He easily stunned everything in the, the game. Also, as you can see, you can see the health bar of the enemy now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, oh. that's his passive. Okay. Oh. I that's... just got eaten by a plant. <laughs> and you're laughing at me. Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> 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 always make me laugh in my <laughs> It do be like that. <laughs> yeah, it do be like that. People, be careful who you invite to like um, <laughs> slots and streams. <laughs> Sometimes they are. Uh, in Germany, we have a word for that, Schadenfreude. Oh yeah. I think I don't know whether this word like is also in other languages. We just use the, that word. Really? We do. But I like you hearing, stole our word. We did steal your word. And hearing like British people say it is really funny because they don't try to put any accent in it. They're just like so Schadenfreude. Okay. That's, that's how they say it. It's okay. um, <laughs> very plain face, unfortunately. So what does it mean? It's like if you're, if you like that someone is really doing worse and bad, <laughs> and you like, you're happy about yeah, you're, their you badness. You revel in their misfortune, basically. Yeah, well. yeah, you revel. That would someone say who um, knows how to speak English properly. That's basically a troll. <laughs> yeah. Basically, basically. yeah. And in Germany, there are so many of these that we have a word for that. <laughs> Do you guys have like words for like a lot of feelings that, again, we just don't have in English? Because yeah. the English language is very uninventive. Like we Germans just have more feelings. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You see, there uh, the the one creature has a regeneration. Yeah. That's the the nature uh, creature here. They have this regeneration ability. Ooh. I'd love me some regeneration because. <laughs> 
uh, but are there how many different like creatures and creature designs are there like you, you just said these nature enemies that yeah. means that there are also other enemies that's right of the element we have uh, yeah there's an elemental there are tribal enemies Ooh. there's a water enemy a dragon so there's a lot we have 150 enemies by the way. 150 oh. yeah, and 44 bosses we're trying to cover them all that's yeah. a very long game yeah that's why uh it took us a long time to yeah. develop the game but how long did it take you already to develop so the game? um the concept started uh, 2019 okay but uh with the full team we uh 2020. okay so, uh, yeah we're close to our final decision also, no, and good. you're close to your kickstarter campaign that's right? right we are going to have a kickstarter by august 27 and this demo will be up by then for them to yeah, test yeah uh, the demo will be up on on steam or on kickstarter where can we find the demo then on steam yeah. okay well that means i'm i'm gonna tell the chat now yeah. to head on over to the steam page and wishlist it so that way you get to keep up to date with all of the updates and will the demo be exactly this one yeah but um we will adapt the notes that we got today the feedbacks we got today so it will be more improved by then yeah. i see yeah. so you need to make the game harder because um it's too easy <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I won't. I, I stopped with these. Before jokes now. Uh, the, the bosses is really hard, so we got uh, we turned down a bit. Mm -hmm. so. um, one question: Do you want to take this very sweaty controller from my hands to show the people at home how a real pro plays the game? For sure. <laughs> because I'd love to like see the satisfying moves you can do. Okay. Here we will meet uh, the final character. Oh, uh huh. Okay. He's one of the entertainer. Mm -hmm. He plays a loot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this guy gives you um, an endure. Oh yes, like yeah. you were saying before. Yeah. So you can stagger the enemies. Yeah. Okay, I see. Also, while you have an endure, you have a poise, and you have a five percent more defense. Ooh. You take less damage. I need him in my life. Yeah. <laughs> we all and, do. <laughs> and now, since you have all three of them, you have this ultimate move. We call it Faded Rush. Oh. So it's like the uh, if you cast them all, they all attack at once and they do a big damage on the screen. Can you do that? Yeah. yeah. We will now. Okay. Oh, down there he's got a big shield. <laughs> Oh, through the walls! Can we, like, just try to make it look like I'm playing? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. You also oh, have this dive kick. <laughs> you see this dive kick? Um, yeah. The pogo. We have the pogo in the game. Mm-hmm. Oh. Who of you is the better player? Just between the four of us. <laughs> Who would you say would win in a speedrun battle? <laughs> um... Maybe, maybe you, maybe you. Nay, <laughs> between you two. Oh. Um, I'm a little bit biased because I, I designed most of the enemies here, so. <laughs> so you're saying you're better than your colleague? <laughs> Am I? I? <laughs> uh, here's the special. Not really young. <laughs> special, special move, so. Oh! That poor guy gets destroyed. And you see his shields uh, got broken? Yeah. So, so you can break like shields yeah. and, and things like that. That's cool. right. Yeah. Now I lost mana, so uh, I can't uh, do the spear anymore. But yeah. the spear is like your favorite ability, right? Yeah, that's right. How many different like movement abilities can players expect? Because in Metroidvania, it's always about what I read because I never played one <laughs> about the movement, and it needs to feel like satisfying and good for the player. Um, like, how, what different movement abilities will still be in the game? So, um, we have the heavy strike the, that can break uh, walls. We have a stump that break the, the ground. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, here, once you defeat a, a, a rare hunt, uh, you, you get some ranking from the association and you learn some uh, hunter's move. So you ah, you, make, okay. yeah. uh, you get more combos like um, you have a, you will get an aerial combo. 
uh, flying, uh, flying spear, blade. So there's a lot of things to learn. We are we're coming to the sad point in the day. Okay. We have to say goodbye soon. Um, I just want to end on like a really fun question though that we got in the chat. Um, when Tristan came up, somebody asked if he could play a song for us, like on his lute. Is that possible? Is it? Can Tristan play a song for us, like? Uh, on right his now, lute? no. But in the, we have a castle in the game. Okay. And once you get all the three uh, entertainers, they will. Uh, perform for oh, you. That's cool. That's so you right. have like a hub where all these that's people right. meet. That's right. Yeah. And one of them is the one that uh, that was my favorite. If okay. you remember the dancer. Yes, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh God. <laughs> so, so will the dancer the will the dancer dance to the music? That's, that's right. right. <laughs> that's so cool. That's so cool. Uh, well, I had so much fun learning more about this game, and like seeing it in action has just been a treat. I want to thank you both so much for joining us thank today. You. Thank, thank you so much, much for having us here. It's been really great. <laughs> it's, it's really fun. Yeah, yeah it was really, really fun. fun. Yeah. It was really fun. Thank you so much. So make sure you go and wishlist the game. We will be back with some more gameplay segments for you after this Amazing, very short man. break. <laughs>